After one of Apple's biggest updates ever, iOS 26, we now finally have iOS 26.1. Not only does this fix a lot of security flaws and bugs in iOS 26, it also comes with some really nice new features. And I'd like to quickly go over all the new and important features that are coming to your iPhone in iOS 26.1. First, let's start with one of the biggest changes. So if you go to settings and then scroll to a display and brightness there's this a new feature called liquid gloss and if you tap on that you have the possibility to change this from clear to tinted tinted increases the opacity and clear just respects the liquid gloss clear design that we are familiar with so if you just for example look at this a notification here and i have clear on and now go to tinted you can see that if you look at the background it's really less transparent the opacity is just increased uh, here you can really see through the notification and with tinted on you can not really see well through the notifications and the next one has to do with the alarm so if i set an alarm for example a 13 uh, 50 let's quickly do that toggle my iphone off you can see here that instead of tapping on this button on iOS 26, you now have to slide to stop the alarm so you don't accidentally turn your alarm off, but really need to slide it. It reminds me a bit of slide to unlock that we used to know on the previous versions of iOS back in the days. I'm really happy to see this back in some form. They do this on the alarm, but I hope to see this in other buttons or features as well. Next up, some small updates to Apple music so let's go to apple music and now what you can actually do here is you can slide on the bottom bar here and then change the music go forward or backwards i'm not going to play the music for copyright reasons but as you can see you can slide forwards and uh, backwards and also when you're in the song itself you can just uh, slide on the title and do the same thing forwards and backwards nice quick shortcuts to change songs then a small one but the apple tv app has been been updated apple tv plus is now called apple tv and in ios 26.1 we have this new design there's a new intro apple tv plus is gone and it's just now called apple tv in ios 26.1 next if we go into settings and then scroll to a camera there is a new toggle at the bottom called a lock screen swipe to open camera and what this basically does is if you turn this off you don't have the option anymore to open your camera by sliding from the right to the left. As you can see, it's not working anymore. And if you toggle this on, uh, by default, it's toggled on. You can open the camera like that. Um, I'm actually a massive fan of opening the camera quickly like that, but I also do it through camera control. So yeah, for me, it's just a habit to do this all the time. So I leave this toggled on, but probably for many people, they like to have this toggled off so that they won't accidentally open the camera on the lock screen then there are some updates to apple intelligence and mostly regarding the new uh, languages so if we go to apple intelligence and then siri request a language you can see apple has added a bunch of new uh, languages including my native language dutch belgium or the netherlands but there are plenty of other languages that have been added as well danish has been added as well as a uh, norwegian portuguese uh, swedish turkish traditional traditional Chinese and Vietnamese. Talking about different languages, also live translation on AirPods got some expanded language support as well. There's now support for Japanese, Korean, Italian, and both simplified and traditional Mandarin. And unfortunately, this is not available in the EU, so I'm not really able to show you how this looks. But yeah, hopefully this will come out soon in the EU, but right now it's open to the rest of the world. Next up, when it comes to security, we also have an important new update as well if we go to privacy and security in settings and then scroll all the way to the bottom there's this new background security improvements toggle that we can actually toggle on or off and what this does is that you can automatically install security improvements i recommend you to toggle this on but if you prefer you can toggle this off but as you can see at the security of your iphone personal data will be reduced if you toggle this off so 
I highly recommend you to toggle this on, but you have the option now in iOS 26.1. And still staying in the settings app, as you can see, or maybe already have noticed, is that here in the top, the text and the icon now is aligned to the left. It was aligned in the center in iOS 26, as you can see at uh, the difference here iOS 26 on the left and 26.1 on the right. So you can see that difference right there. Then let's head over to the Photos app. It's there, there's a new update here with regards to the video scrubber. Um, as you can see, this is now a separate bar in the video itself. Whereas in iOS 26, this looked differently. In there, you can see it's totally different. It's a, a bar in the bottom. Whereas in iOS 26, it's just a, a separate bar with a backdrop as well to um, distinguish it more clearly. Still in photos as well, the bar in the bottom in photos is a bit more frosted compared to that in iOS 26. Let me show you that. As you can see, the way you can see through this, uh, this is more whitish and transparent. Whereas here, you can see the opacity has been increased. It's harder to see through. So a nice little update in the photos app as well then uh, when we go to a, a folder let's for example go to health and fitness now this has been aligned to the left let me show you that with another example uh, investing this used to be in the middle for folders but now similarly to you in settings this has been aligned more to the left had a title as you can see check that in financial as well just so you know and in settings again if we go to general and uh, go to a local capture there are new options here in local capture you can select the save location you can change this for local capture and you can toggle on or off the audio only so if you only want the audio or the video so you have that option right now in ios 26.1 still in settings if we go to accessibility and then under a display and text size there's a new a show of borders option so if you toggle this on you can see it already here on the borders of certain elements um, pop out more are more visible and this could help for readability you can see here the search bar at the bottom how it changed then if we go to the phone app the phone app now also uses a liquid gloss so if you tap on the different numbers you can see the liquid gloss so let's compare that to ios 26 uh, you can see how the different look this is flat and really doesn't use liquid gloss and here you can see it the liquid gloss is uh, being uh, used talking about the new phone app uh, there's also a new uh, feature when you go to your settings and then scroll down to apps and then go to phone there we go and if you scroll a little bit to the bottom you can see this new toggle for haptics and you can turn this on or off and what it does is you'll get haptic feedback when a call is connected or a drop you find that little buzz really annoying you now have the possibility to toggle that off and lastly within a safari the tab bar at the bottom is now wider there's a less padding around the edges it's not easy to show you this but also you can see here that the transparency is in ios 26 here on the left is more visible when you look through buttons and text compared on ios 26.1 where you can see that opacity has been increased all right guys so yeah i hope this was helpful and gave you some more insights in how ios 26.1 looks what the new updates are um, if this was useful make sure to subscribe hit the bell icon like this video and see you in the next one peace